Top of the top, off your back and on your feet. Time to hit the road, ain't no time to sleep. It's your boy Big Matt from Bonafide, here with Driver Solution. And uh, today, I just wanna let y'all know about a few things that you're gonna need in order to have a successful career in truck driving. If it is one thing that I wish someone would have told me when I first started uh, even thinking about or had the notion that I wanted to be a truck driver is that it's deeper than trucking. Hence, the reason why I coined the term, it's deeper than trucking. Because what nobody let me know in, in certain terms, they told me in uncertain terms, but nobody told me in certain terms that trucking is not a profession, it's not a job, it's not a career. It is a lifestyle. And I think that is the most pertinent piece of information that you will have to tuck in your cap if you are to be successful in this industry. Why do I say that it's deeper than trucking and that trucking is a lifestyle? The moment that you have decided to take the time to study your CDL manual, everything changes. Because if you are successful in attaining your CDL, then this is what happens. You can no longer drive in your personal car the way you want to. And I trust me, I have a Cayenne Turbo. I love, listen, after driving a 80,000 pound vehicle day in and day out, when I hop in that little piece of thing, I want to get on the highway and push it to the limit. You hear me? And my wife will tell you, I drive it like it's a go-kart. However, I have to be careful. And when I'm making decisions in my everyday life, I have to understand that the way I drive my car affects whether I'll ever be able to get into this truck again. Because speeding tickets don't just affect you uh, in your off time. What you do in your off time affects you. If you go home and you want to have an alcoholic beverage, you by law have to wait until 24 hours after you have had that alcoholic beverage to get behind the wheel of this of this commercial vehicle. Why? Because if you get into an accident and they find that you had any type of toxins in your system and they were not prescribed medication, guess what they're going to say? They're going to say automatically it's your fault. First of all, you're the professional driver. Second of all, this is gonna be the insurance company's argument. Had you not had that alcohol in your system because it can't be proven that it didn't affect your judgment, guess what? Maybe you would have saw my client switching over into the lane. And yeah, he cut you off. We got that. But you probably would have saw it before it happened had you not been inebriated. But I wasn't inebriated. I had the beer eight hours ago. Oh? Well, science shows us that it's still, uh, that, that alcohol still affects your judgment X, Y, and Z hours later. So, I gotta get into your head and let you know that you have now chosen to change your life. You've not just chosen a career. The things you eat, the way that you take care of your body. I've seen drivers get their license revoked for health issues. If they're pre-diabetic, they don't want you out here on the road having a diabetic, falling into a diabetic coma, which is why they put us through what? A medical checkup. Because if you go into a diabetic coma or you have a heart attack, guess what happens? This 80,000 pounds now turns into a weapon. And no, we can't hold you accountable for having a heart attack, but we can hold you accountable for not doing the things that could decrease your heart attack risk. So everything revolves around your license. Going home, I know you like to a little, little, little bit of herb. You know, it's legal in California. Guess what, buddy? You can't smoke. Why? Because you get piss tested. And when that pops up, your license revoked. So if you think that trucking may be the best thing to happen to you, you are going to have to revamp your lifestyle. Please do not let anyone influence you into doing the right thing the wrong way. There's no such thing. It's either right or wrong. And if you're doing the wrong thing, then you're doing it the wrong way. Guys, it's deeper than trucking. It's not a profession. It's not a career. It is a lifestyle. And as of today, you have chosen to make that lifestyle change. Best of luck. Drive safe. 
Check me out on this Deeper Than Trucking on Facebook. It's Big Matt from Bonafide. I'm out.